Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. A Jason Fleming straight edge knife custom cleaver rendition. This is an EDC pocket cleaver. Now, this is still belted sand, sandblast hose. Guys, let's do it like this real quick. Let me give you a good look at what we're working with. This is, we're going to call it a pocket cleaver, an EDC. Love the handle. Now, again, if you didn't see the video last night, Jason has made another one of these with a longer handle based on some suggestions myself, Jacob Lamb, and Jimbo made. It'll be here tomorrow, Saturday, the 30th. We're going to review it over the next couple days. What I want to do with this is see how good it is for EDC. Now, let me tell you this. If you've ever done anything but sandblast hose, you know it's some tough shit. I made just a quick insert right there. Now I'm holding it and cutting it, which it always makes it a little more difficult. No problem, look at that. That's impressive as shit to me, guys. Listen, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own life. We know the stats are everywhere. We're going into the weekend, the number's gonna be higher. The actual number ranges anywhere from 15 to 29 a day, which is staggering. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. And vets, all that means, man, is we love you. You have a place here. Look at all that sand. We're back to blue over here. We support Lou. Probably the most controversial, most misunderstood thing we do. And I understand it. I've just gotten to a point in the place, guys, where I understand if you don't or you can't, man, I totally get it. No judgment here, right? But we do. My son's going to be a cop. I got friends that are cops. Are they all good? You know they're not. Are they all bad? You know they're not. You know they're not. That's why we try to support the good ones. And my son feels like he can make a difference. I hope he can. I worry about him not getting hurt physically. I just know what it's going to be. But how do you back the blue scab? Well, I try not to break the damn law. I used to all the time. I try not to now. I mess up here and there. When I do, I accept responsibility. And finally, finally, if you are an addict, and this is important, never quit quitting now. Somebody asked me what was I addicted to before. Drugs, coke, uh, pills, all that stuff. Is Gabby not embarrassed to mention that? now? maybe it'll help somebody out. I just know that it's a struggle every day. You know, I'd love to tell you I kicked it and never thought about it again. That wouldn't be truthful. Now, y'all notice we're cutting the shit out of this stuff, right? More so than I have any other time before. One, I got to get rid of it. I'm here at work. You see all the sand in it. It's still belted. Really, really impressed with this blade so far. If I didn't do anything else, now, I've got to do other stuff for people on the Internet, right? But in my own mind, after doing this every day, day in and day out for three, four years with this channel, I can tell you I'm impressed as shit. No damage to the blade. Now look, when we get these handmade knives, Jason forges his own knives. It's not going to be picture perfect. I don't want it to be. He'll get there, right? So what I do on something like this is we know he's going to have to clean up that ground a little bit. That's fine. What I look for is damage. So far, no damage. And look. You see the steel belting more than that? You see all that sand in there? It ain't good for it. Let's do one more cut and let's move on. But I'm cutting it this many times for a reason, right? Well, we're gonna act like I am. Impressive, son. So far, so good. All right, guys, we're dealing with ADC RV2 steel. The handle scales are a resin that Jason got off of Amazon. I absolutely love the handle scales. I love the color. I love the feel. I love the whole thing. And I like ADC RV2 quite a bit. Now, here's the deal. I was going to kind of talk all the way through it and do, you know, the other style. But the truth is, sometimes those videos can be very disjointed. And I wanted to kind of keep everything together and keep everything in front of us. The thing that I see with this knife is this. Ninja moves there, son. The thing that I see with it is this, guys, an EDC. Now, a Kydex sheath, I'd like to have like a Kydex sheath with maybe an ulti clip on it uh, or, you know, a pocket fixed blade. What I see from this, now this, this rope was actually tough as shit to cut. Um, at first, I thought it was like an extension cord or something. It's got some kind of weird 
you can kind of see it in there, different uh, fibers in there. It's got some different deal. But anyway, it was a good medium to cut. I found it, and like I've said many times, I'm a damn scavenger. You can see there, does that speak to the sharpness of the knife? No. I was just kind of impressed that it cut it. The balance, we're doing the Donnie B all day, throw it at the stump, drop test, all that. The balance is, is very much on point. Very, very much on point. The balance point is right above the handle scales, uh, almost where the slight little ricasso and sharpening choil is, almost dead center. And it's very, very well balanced. But what I see from this knife is this. Would I, the, the question that I try to answer every single video is this. Would I carry it? Absolutely. It's a cleaver. So, you know, it's going to be able to process up food. Now, I say this a lot, and I know that I'm redundant a lot, but here's the deal, guys. We're gaining a lot of new subscribers. We have been for a while. So, if you're new here, here's the deal. I understand 100%. Not everybody works in an industrial setting. Not everybody works in some kind of shop, right? Not everybody does that kind of work. My hope is that by cutting all these industrial materials and mediums, that you can just translate it over. Now, I've said this many, many times. This is two inch ratchet strap. It's very, very tough. It can be toe strap, ratchet strap, whatever you want it to be. And I and I like to use that one if you need to cut a seat belt. This is much thicker than a seat belt, much tougher. If you need to skin game, I don't know that we're gonna find a hide in North America that's much tougher than that. We might, and I'm sure I'm wrong like I am most times, but I'm just saying, I like to translate it over. This is a slicey, slicey bitch. The handle, when I first got it, I thought, well, that's, that's short. And it is. It is. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's thick enough that I was able to manipulate it. Now, remember, remember, I will be receiving another one of these with a longer, thicker handle. Cannot wait because I absolutely adore. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I saw it. And, and the beauty of, of, of having a channel is this. We can take a knife. We can single that knife out. We can focus on that knife. I don't do what ifs. Because a lot of times people are like, well, no, Skeb, you need this. No, that's we're not focusing on that. We're not every other channel on the internet. We're not trying to be. When we do a knife review or demonstration, whatever you want to call it, we're focused on that. I'm not worried about any other brand. I'm not worried about what would do it better. I'm not worried about any of that shit. How does this knife work? And that's just, and I don't say that mainly or rudely, that's just how we approach the demonstration. Other channels do it differently, and, and that's the beauty really of having several channels. Now look how slicey this is. Made some really long, nice curls, but, but, but anyway, getting different looks, different thoughts, different opinions is always good. We happen to focus on the function of the knife. Now, I wanted to do a good bit of batoning. Would I normally do that with this? Well, if you have to, and, and we try to factor everything in. Um, you know, living in the South like I do and living in the swamp and all those, batoning's not really a huge thing for me except in these videos, right? But it's always good to know that a knife will hold up. I didn't have any chipping, any rolling, anything like that. I really didn't. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, Jason. I love Jason to death. He's a good dude, a great friend, a solid brother in the blade. But I thought, man, I hope this knife holds up. Not any shot at him at all. And not a shot at him at all. You just, you don't know. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm very impressed with the quality. I'm very impressed at how it held up. I'm very impressed with the edge. The heat treat seems to be spot on. I can't wait to do the other one. Now, we have the one with the longer handle, right? I'm going to do, not the one that's coming tomorrow, but the other one with longer blade, longer handle. We're going to do use that for more of a cooking thing. I wanted to use this. Would I carry this at work? Would I carry it at camping? Would I carry Yes, absolutely would. I was way impressed with not only how it per performed, but how the edge held up and how comfortable the damn handle was. Really was able to get it. And, and really at the end of the day, guys, we can kind of test the edge. We can kind of test the sharpness. We can take a look at the knife. And, and if you want the truth, we could do these videos in probably four or five minutes. I do mine a little longer because I enjoy doing it, to be honest with you, and it's a lot of fun. But the truth is, the other thing that really needs to be looked at is com not comfort, 
in hand. That's part of it. But do you have to alter your grip a whole lot? Now, everybody's got different hand sizes. That is always a factor. But I, I found with this, guys, I was able to use my standard grip. I did hang, you know, obviously I'm going to hang a, a finger or two off the bottom or wrap, wrap the ring finger and drop the pinky kind of in that fencing grip just you see there. But I didn't have to do like any real pinch grips. I didn't have to really alter anything. There's no hot spots in it. Overall, I think Jason did an amazing job. I really do. And guys, listen, from time to time, people will say something like, well, Scab, you know, I'm sorry, but it's just not for me. Don't, listen, don't be sorry, okay? Not every knife I show is going to be. I show you all these different knives because we put out a lot of content and I love knives, right? I know not everybody's going to love each one. You say, Scab, you do. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to have a knife I don't like on the channel. I mean, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? You know, just like with Jason, I was thinking about this. Now, processing up, I'm going to Blackie's this weekend, and I'm behind the eight ball. One thing I always do is, guys, I hedge my bets. I make sure I have plenty of lighter knot. Uh, I'll have that whole bag full before I go. It, now, Blackie's going to be able to start a fire. Trust me, if anybody can, that dude can, but... I like to hedge my own bets. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I like getting prepped for this winter. What I'm going to say is, man, Jason's an awesome dude. Jason, it, here's the truth. Jason Fleming, Straight Edge Knives, the guy who made this knife, had a huge hand in Donnie B. All Day, Joe from JS Bladecraft, and myself reviewing some knives from Tops. Jason facilitated that. He is an awesome, awesome dude. And somebody was so scared, everybody you say is, well, we, I'm not going to shout out assholes. I mean, that doesn't even make sense, does it? Come on, son. Now, Jason's a great dude. And I'm really impressed with his knives. We got two or three more to go. I can't wait to see where it goes. I can't wait to have this knife making contest, our homemade knife making contest. It's going to be dope. But what I want y'all to remember more than anything else, and if you don't remember anything else this weekend, remember this. I'm scared. You're not digging this cleaver, man. I'm gone, son. Y'all have a great weekend. Love y'all.